G'day everyone, welcome back to Damn Collectibles. Today we're going to be doing a Pokemon opening. I hope you guys are keen for this, this will be the first one uploaded to our channel. We also have a 25th anniversary one coming up, so make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe or whatever the hell you want to do for it. Make sure you guys know that that's coming up soon. Uh, I'm joined here today with my two mates, you guys want to say hey? Hey, how are you? What's up guys? Uh, today we're going to be opening up a Fusion Strike Booster Box. Uh, this is one of the latest Pokemon sets. Is it, or is it the latest one? It's, no, it's two or three back. Two or three back. Uh, we're trying to catch up with Pokemon a bit, but we'd like to show off some of these and even potentially some earlier sets like um, Chilling Rain and Battle Styles. Battle Styles. It's Evolving Skies as well. Yeah. That one looks really nice with the Rayquaza and all the Eevee cards in it. Oh, true. Um, so we're going to be trying to get some of those up on the channel too. We might be a bit late and I know like people pretty much only watch what's the latest and greatest on YouTube but here at Damn Collectibles we like to do everything. So we're going to be doing old sets, new sets, different, you know, Digimon, uh, Metazoo and everything like that. So I hope you guys get keen for it. Stay tuned for everything. But today we're going to kick it off with this 36 pack Fusion Strike. So I'll hand it over to my mate for a while to run you through the set and everything for as much as we know of the set. Yeah, um, with the ETBs you do get the book that shows you the full set. But um, it's kind of fun not knowing what's coming sometimes. So we'll start with the booster box. We are going to do a Fusion Strike ETB video eventually. I do like that. But, um, on that pack. Yeah. I like the Mew, the Mew looks sick. And even that Gengar on the box. Yeah, the VMAX Gengar. Yeah. So yeah, there's our artworks. Genesect, Mew, Bolton, I think it is. And we do get the Gengar pack art as well. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So that's cool. It means there'll be VMAXs in this still. And then, of course, there'll be the Fusion Strike cards, which will be ones that... You probably have to look out for they will be like the main hit for the box and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, hopefully we get that Gengar card though, or even the Genesect card. I'm a huge Genesect fan when it comes to Pokemon. I think like Robotic Bugs is like the coolest thing out. Code there. We won't do the card trick. We'll just get straight into them. Well, Pico, Skarmory, Shelmet, Plusle, Muna, Muna. Gligar Reverse and Butterfree Hollow. That's a nice little art. Yeah. That's, that's an interesting hollow pack. That's too. like, haven't they done that before? Like, yeah. that's like a bit of a throwback. I think they did that with the, um, some of the 25th anniversary ones that we opened. Oh, yeah. I think some of them were like that, where it's like the parallel hollow lines running through it. Yeah. So that's quite cool. Yeah, that's really good. All right. Let's go Gengar next. Something I really like about, um, one actually is how frequently they usually change up the hollow pattern. Yeah. Like they'll be diagonal one set and then they'll be straight one set, then they'll do like the cosmic swirls and stuff for the other ones and the code there, we won't do the what you most YouTubers could do and go like that. <laughs> you never get a chance to see it. Yeah, so we'll <laughs> give them away for you guys because we we don't really play the TCG online. Uh, we That's might a keep cool a couple for my friend because he does. Um, but we'll give away at least some or most of these for you, so. Dreepy. And Blissey non holo rare. What do you guys think about the, um, like, sort of newer style of the reverse patterns on the cards? Um, Cause like, I don't mind it. Technically, some of them are really hard to read. Well, yeah. If that's what I don't like. The darker the ink, the harder you... Like, hardly you have to look to see it. Yeah, because, like, literally on the dark cards, man, it's, like, nearly impossible to read some of them. Yeah. Um, I do think it's cooler. I like the energy, like, symbol in the background of the text and stuff like that. That's yeah. I really like. But it's just, sometimes they're too dark to, like, read. So, another code card for you guys. Shelter's looking pretty mean there. <laughs> it's a good one. He's like one of my favorite um like evolution ones from Gen One. Honestly. Yeah, I really liked Cloyster. I thought he was really cool, and his stats in the game were like pretty good. Lots of HP, lots of defense. Sadly, he lacked in special defense, which is where he needed it. 
It's like one thunder or thunderbolt, and he was pretty much dead. So <laughs> it was a, a pretty decent Pokemon. We're also going to be trying to upload some gameplay videos next week, guys. We will be trying to get a Pokemon match up. We will be trying to get maybe one or two Metazoo matches up, and we'll also be trying to get up a couple of Digimon matches. So, um, if you're indeed into those things of like gameplay videos and stuff like that, stay tuned for them too, because we're going to be trying to pump out the content in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, try to get some. Um, Ooh, we got a good card, wait. Ooh, a Hooper. Hooper V. That looks pretty cool. Is that That's a full art? Yeah, no, is well... Is it textured? It's... Yeah. Yeah, so it's one of your old art. arts. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Still part of the set, though. 253 out of 264. Yeah, so it's not a secret rare or a rainbow. No. It's very cool with that Fusion Strike banner. Yeah. I want to know if, um... They still have the same like seed rate of um, like one out of two boxes will get a rainbow rare. I think they are pretty standard with that. Because one problem is people open a booster box, they get X amount of pulls and they know that none more are coming. So then they sell off the other packs knowing that they're not going to be big hits. Yeah, true. Yeah, oh, and they... Um... The gold like trainer cards or like item cards and stuff can take that position as well, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. Which is pretty cool. So you have like a bit more of a chance to get them. True. Ooh. It's a cool looking Grim Snow. I do like the art on these cards, even the commons. I really like the hollow on these cards. Yeah. One thing that's been stepping up in Pokemon in the last like, five or ten years though, is, like I remember like you used to buy the old packs and if you got a common or an uncommon, it was just the Pokemon like sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Like they weren't doing anything. Like that Skarmory looks sick. He's like flying at the camera at yeah. like, hyper speed or something. Like at least they're giving like more like emotion into the characters on the cards. True. Obviously they're limited with some like It's like Kangas Khan. Oh, I Lacey's... remember they used to do some really old artworks where it was like it would almost be looking like it was like a clay. Yeah. Thing, you know, like. And then they used to do the woolen ones and stuff. Yeah, as well. yeah. So they have yeah. tried, but obviously some stuff just hasn't worked out for them. And I guess it's probably yeah. more they can do now too than ever because they have so many more artists and everything. Yeah. The Pokemon's got massive in the last five years. Like, I remember the Hidden Fates thing where everyone went nuts for that set. That set would have made them so much money. Yeah. And that's just giving them, like, more opportunity and freedom to basically do what they want. Like, I saw, like, you can get, like, premium sets now where they come with, like, art books that show... Oh, oh another <laughs> <flavor verse. laughs> Um, Yeah, you get, like, art books where it shows, like, the actual full art of, like, the... Because they draw, like, these big sort of pictures where it's got like multiple Pokemon in it and they pick specific parts to focus on that's going to be the Butterfree card. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Because like some of them, it'll be like Butterfree's flying there and then there'll be like a Spearow picking its worms in the ground and then there'll be like something flying up in the corner but then they only pick like certain parts of the thing to be the actual card artwork, which is cool. Yeah. Kind of like how in the 25th anniversary set they did the extended version of the Pikachu card. Yeah, I did like that. Like that's that's what I'm talking about. So, Meltan. I wonder if this is the first set he's in. No, his first set that he was in was um, Unbroken Bonds. Oh, okay. Because I remember Meltan and... What was it? Mel Metal was his full evolution. Yeah. They, they pretty much like um, debuted in that set. He was, he was a pretty cool Pokemon. Yeah. I like that they're slowly expanding the steel type because I feel like for the first four or five generations there was only like, like 15 of them. So it's good to see that they're still adding in more characters and that. And it'll be interesting to see what they do with um, Scarlet and Violet, the new Pokemon games, because they're meant to be open world, sort of like how um, Pokemon Legends Arceus was. So. Yeah. 
It'll be cool to see the new types of Pokemon that they add in and everything like that. That's a pretty cool card. Is it Helioscope? Helioptile. Helioptile. But it's got that like comic book, old comic book printing look. Oh yeah. And Melmetal, there he is. Nice. Got to give out the code card, but there it is. It's kind of good mixing it up like that, that way it's not just one person going through stealing them all. Yeah. Like at least maybe like 10 people might get a chance <laughs> to get it. Oh, that one doesn't really want to open that way. Oh, this pack didn't want to behave. Here's the one. Toxic Croak. It's got to be some um, Morgrim. I don't think I've ever seen that Pokemon. It evolves into um, Grim Snarl. I'm pretty sure. Or oh, must be Morgrim. Imdepimp. Impi <laughs> Impidimp. 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 <laughs> Impidimp. <laughs> that was a. Weird I don't have one. much luck with this box, yeah. No, they must be all at the back. Because I think. Yeah, kind of like what I was saying, you do get the guaranteed hits. Yeah, well, we've only got, like, we only got that one B card, and that was the ult. Yeah. So, we should still have one more ult, and there should be, like, quite a few V cards, right? That's what I was thinking. I think it's, like, six V cards per box, two ults, or something. Oh, there is something in this pack. I can see it peeking out there. The Carvana card looks pretty cool. Yeah. I always like the Carvana and Sharpedo one. And Mew V. Hey, you got the box art. That's got to be one of the more sought after V cards in the set. Very nice. Yeah, I always played the Psychic decks when I was uh, playing the TCG. Yeah, I prefer them too, I think. The Mew and the Mewtwo cards were always good. Yeah. They usually have pretty good luck out. Like their hidden abilities or whatever they are, aren't they? That one doesn't have any. Oh, really? No. A lot of the time it's just like add more energy for more damage. Yeah. But, yeah. Or like remove it from one card and add it to like a bench Pokemon or something like that. Yeah. That's the cool thing about like Mew and Mewtwo and that though. Technically they're just basic Pokemon. So you can like run heaps of search cards to just find them real quickly. Yeah. Like, like I remember the pre-release for um... Chilling Rain, I ended up pulling the Articuno, like the glare. Oh, back oh, to back. Back to back, the exact same guy. Oh, dear. We've got two Butterfreeze and two Mews so far. Yeah, with the Chilling Rain um, pre-release, I pulled the Galarian Articuno, and it's a basic Pokemon, so I just ran heaps of search cards to find it and managed to, like, get it pretty much every match on my first turn. Like, yeah. It was a bit broken, but... Alrighty, code card. Still not seeing a lot of double ups with the commons and uncommons. I think that's the first time we've seen him. That's sort of one of the annoying things that turned me off Pokemon for a while was the huge set lists. Like yeah. I Cosmic Eclipse was, was 200 like something? 40 cards or something. Yeah. Like there was like 40, 40 different like alt arts and rainbow rares. And I was like, how are you meant to complete this? Like, yeah. Master Setting used to be such a like, not like easy thing to do, but like you used to only have to buy like maybe two or three boxes. Yeah. But then yeah. like bring yeah. the alt arts and the rainbow rares and everything now. It's like you have to spend like. A thousand dollars, like you know, buy a whole crate, and that's only just to like boot missing like a couple of cards. Like, what Did are you guys it? thinking about this set though? Like, ooh, there's the oh, abominable V. That's, gotta that's be a cool looking ult. card. That's got to be the other ult, surely. Um, 
No, textured. so far still. Is it textured though? Yeah, but a lot of them are nowadays. Uh, I don't but think it's still cards are. still part of the set list. Yeah, so it's not a secret rare or anything. No. But yeah, I definitely think that's the other alt art for the box. I thought alt arts were all. Oh no, they would still have the. They would still be part of the set. Yeah. Numbering. Yeah. It's only your rainbow ones, I think, that are like your secret rares. True. Or whatever, but. So hopefully now we're. I have seen boxes where people pull multiple full arts though, where they get like three of them. Oh, okay. So there's a chance for that still, I think. And there's also a chance at a rainbow rare still, so. We got something in here, I can see it peeking out already. Min in reverse and Oh, oh okay, well that was an old yes, then. That was definitely the old time. Yeah. And it has a different numbering. Does it? Yeah. This is seventy six, that's two thirty something. Oh, I think that's how they run them in Pokemon. Oh, okay. If I recall. It was like your main set sits at the front of your binder. Yeah. And then all your alts and the rainbows are the back end of the set. Oh, they're not like next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. So we pulled back to back Mew V's and then we just pulled the alt art. <laughs> what is it? Crabominable. Yeah. And then we pulled the regular V card. <laughs> you guys want to open some packs? I feel like I'm hogging this box. I'm pretty keen to just watch, man, honestly. Can I open a few? Uh, you're not getting good luck. <laughs> Switch things up a bit. Alright. Oh god. This pack's got to have something good in it because it doesn't want to open. Some people collect them. Yeah, a lot of people collect the era cards. They're very expensive for some of them. Yeah. When you get the um, print line errors and everything on them or spelling errors or they've got like a missing like um type thing yeah a cool onyx card yeah i haven't seen that one before mush tomp and a selgor it's cool as a rude card too all right how many we got left like two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen sixteen i think that's pretty much half and half so oh, you, no way. You give it a go and we'll see what happens. Alright, we'll see how the luck goes. There is a few artworks in here that I've been wanting to see close up. So, we'll see how that goes. I still want to see that Genesect card. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one I'm interested in. Somehow managed to keep that pack <laughs> somewhat together for you. No, oh, it's alright. Um, I don't know if we'll... I probably won't do the card trick either. We'll see. Skarmory, Jinx, Swaddle. That's pretty sick. Mm. They look that's high cool. up, man. Yeah, look at that Vicavolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks that's cool, man. Awesome. Uh, like even just the regular rares Vanguard. fit pretty hard in Pokemon most of the time. That yeah. was the regular rare, I guess? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, oh, you can... I'll go through them all later, so yeah, right. don't have to separate them. We'll separate out the bigger hits. Oh, it's got to be a Mewtwo in there, surely. Or a Gengar. Or... Yeah, you'd think if it's a pack of card, surely. Who do you want? Uh, Gengar or Genesect. I guess we'll try it, right? It's three? Four. Yeah, four now. Yeah, should be the fourth end. will be the energy, I think. Yes. Yeah. Right. Low point. Oh my god. Okay. Hard jump key. Yeah, then. <laughs> Tuxel. Uh, Totodile. Oh, Boneri for that little high jump kicking low punny in the background there. <laughs> Bobopus? I didn't know he existed. Oh, really? I love that guy. Yeah, look at that guy. Croconaw is a reverse and... Ooh, oh, nice. he is pretty cool. What Pokemon is that? I can't even see it. Toxtricity. Oh, yeah. Have you played him in the new games? 
Yeah, doesn't he have like multiple forms of something? Yeah, he does. Yeah. You can kind of see the like VHS hollow on this. Yeah. VHS hollow. It is, it, it looks sick. Yeah. It's a bit hard to pick up on the camera though, but. Okay. Sorry if I'm opening these packs a bit weird, I just don't really want to rip them. Yeah, I'd do the same thing. They are a bit hard to. Ugh. Open quickly. Watching some people open Pokemon packs just gives me anxiety. Gives you pain. Yeah. I'm probably one of them. No, that um, was fine. One, two, three. I'll just completely destroy him. <laughs> he's going in the bin no matter what. And oh, yeah, there. but trying to keep the cards inside. Yeah. Good. So you don't bend the cards. Yeah. Springy gloves, very good. Uh, trainer card for your water decks. Probably for Clogopus. Yeah. Give them those gloves. <laughs> rapid strike. Now, do you guys know why some here say rapid strike? Is this because you can only get it's... this artwork in the set, or no? There's um, no, there's that's, like that's the mechanic of the game. Yeah. Oh. There's oh. Like, okay. So this is rapid strike or your fusion strike or single strike. Your single strike will be different. Like I can't remember. It's like oh. A... oh. Okay. There you so go. There full go. art trainer. The three. The three full arts yeah. in one box. That's. That's a nice looking trainer. There's people in the. In really like see the, the background there, but yeah, you can see the mirror and stuff. It's like broken. Mm. It's pretty sick. There's people in the community that like have whole binders of just full art trainers. Yeah. They do look really cool though. What I miss though is um with the Cosmic Eclipse set, those character cards that they had. I think they bought them back recently. I can't okay. remember what set. Yeah, that, that was something I always thought was really cool. Yeah. Because, like, the red and Pikachu card is, like, one of my favourites. Because mm. it's just, like, Ash picking his Pikachu from the thing. Yeah. Like, Upside down on there. <laughs> I haven't actually seen that yet. The back of those, they've changed it. Oh, they have. Are they all different, then? Um... Oh, yeah. There's your difference between green and white. Oh, yeah. So this one will probably have a hollow in it then, I'm guessing. Ah, oh, you oh, think? Oh, we ruined it. I think that's what that means. Well, that's what they used to mean anyway. They had green and white, yeah. And depending on that, yeah, you kind of like know what you were getting. Your regular rares and your whites for the... You'd get a hollow or better. No, no hollow. Oh, so that must be the other way around now. If you get the white border one, you get a regular rare. If you get a black border one, you get a hollow. Yeah. I will do one more just because I've been pulling these packs from all over the place. Yeah. And we did actually manage to get that one full art train, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe that was their solution to um, like the sets getting bigger, was to add in another full art to keep people a bit happier about how big With the sets the were so you didn't have to do a million boxes to try to complete the set. Yeah. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Caterpie, man. Trimish. Corviknight. Oh, he's always, he's always such a cool Pokemon. Yeah. He came into it in Sword and Shield, didn't he? Yeah. He was cool because he was steel flying type or something like that. Uh, I think you got me. Can I open some? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I want to see if I can pull anything. Oh, I doubt it now that we've gotten three alternative arts. <laughs> yeah. uh, still. Got to be something in there. Come on, Genesect. My boy. And I apologize. I'm just going to rip the shit through these <laughs> without bending the well, card. Yeah, the packs don't worry me. <laughs> Just the cards that I've. Jesus, they're out. difficult to yeah. open. Once you're getting started, they're not too bad. Oh, look at that perfect condition pack. <laughs> we got the code card here for you. We'll do it on an angle or something, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll do the card trick. Or the front. Yeah, Walter. Sydney Battle VIP Pass Graveler Snom <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Dreamy <laughs> Makahita That's sick 
they're all training on top of the hill. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. He's a single strike card too, which suits the fighting type. Rooker D. We got Galarian. Oh, I hate this Darumaka? name. Darumaka. Darumaka, yeah. Oh, Baltoy. That looks cool as a reverse. Yeah. So that's what I like, the little, like, symbols there. And Huntail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another pack. Another bit of my patience wearing thin yeah. with these openings. Oh, man, I'm, like, king at opening these without damaging them. What? Look at that, two perfect packs. <laughs> got another white card, I don't know what that means. One, two, three, four. Mm, darkness energy, looks cool. Got Metapod, another pass. Uh, Togatamaru, Gligar. This guy was always one of my favorites from. Uh, when, when did he come in? Johto, wasn't it? Yeah, Johto's yeah. Gen 2. Slugma, wow, that's cool artwork with like the embers kicking up. Mm. It looks awesome. Skitty, the most unoriginal card I've ever seen. I think every single Skitty card looks like it <laughs> yeah, just yeah. sitting there smiling. Uh, Phalanx, we got Choodle. Ooh, a Raquidnid. It's a Pokemon that I never, like, really got to play because he was from Sword and Shield 2A. Yeah. Yeah, we got Gramble. It's pretty cool. I'll do one from the other side because I'm not having a lot of luck with this side. Got the electric dog and these packs. Yeah. They're like so oh, tight yeah. around it, you can't even really push the card up. Like, no. It's a bit difficult. So I was kind of doing that and then. Like going down the middle. Go down and then. Oh, it, yeah. I don't know, I kind of just go this once way. Once that gets started. Man, Pokemon packs used to be so easy to open. Yeah. Another white card. That means I've got nothing again, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four. Ooh, Steel. My favourite. Another pass. Jeez, that's got to be like the most common card in the whole set. <laughs> Glossiflower. Mudkit. Sandshrew. Qfant. Here's the other dude. Oh, yeah. Impidimp. I'm, cool. I'm the pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I skipped it. Oh, no. Who was it? Center Scorch is the rare. Center Scorch is the rare, which is cool artwork. Mm. And then we got Power Tablet as the reverse. So it's kind of cool. Didn't realize I missed one. This will be my last pack, I think. <laughs> I'm getting nothing. This is, <laughs> this is rubbish. <laughs> you rigged the box, Kane. I must have. Somehow you got all the good stuff. There you go, I think I got a whole art set. Oh no, <laughs> nearly got the whole art set. Another white card. I quit. Wait, there you go guys, there's a good card. I can't even remember if I was doing that all the time or not. I think you might have missed one. Uh, another boulder. <laughs> Bug catcher, wiggly top, phalanx. There's like oh, three different one. artworks. Well, there's I've a noticed lot of two. Phalanx. Pancham, another one of them. Indeed, Growlithe, Phalanx, there's there the other is. one. Yeah. Ooh, Voltorb in this weird Picasso style drawing. Mm. Latios, that's kind of cool. Didn't it's got Latios was... in there. Yeah. So maybe there's a Latios. Like, That'd have to be your thing. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Oh, I'm going one more. <laughs> i got to get at least a holo. Like, come on. Is this the other pack in it? No. Oh, well. This is the one I'm opening. Top heel. When did Pokemon cards become so hard to open? Yeah. Like, honestly. There we go. I'll be. Okay, code card. I'll remember this time. I'm not <laughs> looking at the back because I'm jinxing it every time. Four to the front. Another dark energy. Ooh, Zoroark. That's a cool card. Simapur, Metapod, Mana, Meowth. Actually, that's kind of cool artwork too. Meow. Meow. Heal out tile. Wooloo. 
Really? Like, you can tell Pokemon's, like, nearly out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that one. <laughs> yeah, it evolves into, like, a ram. Like a a big black sheep or something. Like yeah. That. Growlithe, that looks cool. It's, like, real faded looking, though, eh? I don't know if that's just how it's coming up on camera or... kind of looks darker mm. in real life. Ah, oh, man, that's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Cool looking. What was it? A Veltal? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was a cool card, but, like... <laughs> yeah, no. Luck when it comes there's there's got to be a hollow version of that. You watch him put like five hollows for the rest of the thing. Yeah. Save right. the box. <laughs> I think the luck came at the start, to be honest. Yeah. I haven't had many B cards, though. Yeah, I was expecting more of those. Like, I, I swear you used to get like. Five or six of them per pack. Leave any. So yeah, the fusion strike energy is probably that was pretty good. Oh, something Turtonator. you want. Turtonators in here. Yeah. They gave him dragon type. Ah. Yeah, the yeah they did too. Usually fire, isn't it? Yeah. Is this the set where they return fairy type? Uh, or is that for the next set? I haven't seen any fairy type. Yeah. Well, they returned dragon as well, didn't they? I think they well, scrapped. I think, I think dragon's just one that comes in and out. Oh, it's okay. Only in like one or two sets every now and then, but I remember they like fully got rid of fairy type. Yeah. Well, there's no fairy energies yet that I've noticed. Glorian Abstergo. Yeah. yeah. Got Gene Simmons. Yeah. <laughs> Does look a bit that way. Right, it seriously looks like a member of Kiss. Dark Rye. Alrighty. Wait, that was a Dark Rye card? Yeah. And it wasn't a rare? Uh, yeah. Must have been uncommon. Wow, that's cool artwork though. Look at that. It probably is a, uh, so cool. probably is a hollow of it. No, it's an uncommon. No, oh, okay. So I don't think it's... Yeah. yeah, they wouldn't be... Yeah, they couldn't be then. I don't think they do uncommon hollows, do they? They're all rare. Yeah. Yeah. They only do the reverses, so technically you get that as a reverse, but... Yeah. More Beko. Toxicity. Corv Ignite. And... Pukamuku. I'm glad you could read that name. I have <laughs> no idea what that's I don't know if I pronounced it right, but... <laughs> We've got it vaguely right. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that was easy. I don't even know if, like, is this like a good set? <laughs> like... Well, I know everyone was excited about it, but mostly probably just because Mew is like the feature. Yeah. It seems like they've got cool feature cards though. Like, mm. your box characters being V Max, um, Gengar, Mew, Mewtwo, and fucking. Whoops. Didn't mean to swear then, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, Genesec. Like. <laughs> uh, I'm getting low. Yeah. You need something. Yeah. That full art trainer is still pretty big. Yeah, another full art trainer could probably save it. You probably only really meant to get one in a box. Oh, there's something in here. I think you're only meant to get three. Vocal of your like alt arts. Yeah. So I think for the rest of the box, we'll only get like a V card at best. It's always hope. Yeah. Never know. NC reverse and. Ooh, Mew V Max. There we go. That's got to be a, a nice Mew card. That's got to be a hard one to get. Oh, it's uh out of the set too. Oh, that's your secret rare. Right yeah. There go. Yeah, nice. Well, that's pretty cool then. You got like three full art cards. Yeah, and straight this, up just build and, and this like a Mew V Max deck. That's that's an ultimate art secret rare by the looks of it. Gotta be. It's textured and everything. Yeah. It's a pretty cool card. Very oh, nice. put it in upside down and I'll double sleeve that yep. one. Should have stuck with it. <laughs> Should have kept open. You back. missed out. There's still... That's, that's like when I used to open up XY Evolutions and the only two times that I pulled the Charizard card, my mum and my brother opened the packs. <laughs> so I didn't even get to 
the satisfaction of pulling the card. <laughs> the soft set. I opened like 15 booster boxes of that. Yeah, won't be doing that again anytime soon. The price of them nowadays. Yeah, I reckon. I could maybe open one of the two that I still have sealed, but yeah. I don't know if I'd really want to open up a $900 box. <laughs> That's a bit, a bit on the edge of, you know, losing all my money out of it. Yeah. Well, I was happy with the Mew and the Mew VMAX. Very mute, heavy death, uh, boost box. Is yeah. Sweet. There might be a lot of him in the set in general, I'm not sure. You have to imagine so. Yeah. Being like the poster boy of the set. Mm. Oh, we got something in this pack too. And Tyranitar V. Oh, cool. Sick. Dude, that's, that's got some great colours in the background. Yeah. Dude, Tyranitar is so sick. I remember when he had, like, the mega form in, like, the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire games and that. That was really cool. I wish they'd bring megas back. Tyran Tyranitar has always just been one of the most consistent Pokemon in, like, everything, bro. Oh. <laughs> Alright, there's two packs left after this one. Do you guys want to try again? Well, I honestly don't think we can pull anything else from <laughs> <that>. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got all the hits. Other than, um, Trav getting the, um... The trainer. trainer. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we've used up all the Vs and everything. Might get a holo, though. Yeah, there, yeah. there you Another go. Metal metal. I think that's a double up, too. That is a yeah. dupe, unfortunately. The three dupes. Dupe heavy box. Alright. Do you want to try another? Nah, all you, man. Alright. Yeah, I would have thought another V card, maybe. Something. Yeah. There's got to be something else in here. In these last two packs. Oops. That's a good one. Is it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure, because all mine weren't like that. Alright. <laughs> I believe. Let's Come do on. the, uh... Card trick then. I guess the energy game yeah. like, Oh, it's unleashed me. <laughs> no, no, that's no, not. Man. That's not him. <laughs> oh no. I only started my YouTube channel two weeks ago and I'm already starting to beef. <laughs> <laughs> and the Oxus. Oh, that's oh, sick. Oh, that's a Look, nice he's got one. everything on there, dude. Yeah. Because he's got like. What, eight different forms or something? Four. Oh, I thought it was more than that. Deoxys is sick, He's got man. normal speed attack defense. Oh, okay. I really wish they would do that more in sets, where if he's in the set, there are four different versions of, his, like, each of his attack form in that. Yeah. That's what I'd really like to see in Pokemon, is like... Like, same with, um, like, Toxic Toxicity, like, why do you only get one form of him in this one? Why mm. not do both, like... Yeah. The final code uh, card. Final code card. Yeah, hopefully someone doesn't just come in and take all of them and then just yeah. leave. Hopefully we can spread them out a bit. Good. What you got coming? Uh, there must be two sizzly peeds. Did I see a different one of him earlier? Oh, I saw that artwork, I think. Oh, okay. Quick ball. Yeah, oh, Gramble. <laughs> oh, well. It was still a pretty... I'm still pretty happy with that. To pull that card. Yeah, honestly, that's really, really nice. Yeah. I love the amount of colours they throw on VMAX cards, too. Yeah. Like, there's literally every colour in the rainbow under that thing. <laughs> which is pretty cool. Alright, well, recap. thanks for watching, guys. Are we doing a recap? Uh, yeah, we better. There's a few dupes in there, but... And don't forget, like, the tar and tar and stuff down there. Yeah. This is true, I think, so hollow as well. So we've seen the VMAX, then we get... Crabominable V. 
another crib on with a little big V. Mill metal, two mews, is there other mill metal? Butterfree, Hooper V. I hope it's pretty Grim cool. Snail, too. Butterfree, Deoxys I like. Clarion Obstagoon, is there a full art trainer? Trinitar V and Toxtricity. So what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 14, 15, 16. So it was 50% of the box. No, it was under. Oh, 36 sorry. 36. Pounds. So, it was yeah. Like a bit over a third. Yeah, true. So, still pretty good though. Hmm. The set wasn't as interesting as I was hoping. It was pretty heavy on like psychic cards. Yeah, they had a few fighting in there, but it mm. wasn't really like the main focus of the set so far from what I've seen. Yeah. Because they just chuck fusion strike on anything really. Pretty much. Like they had they had a lot of stuff in there, but it's like like why is why is Voltorb a single strike card? Yeah. Like, yeah, like <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like there was heaps of those in it where it was just like random cards were single strike or fusion strike or mm. whatever the other one is. I forget what it is. Um but yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, 36 packs of Fusion Strike. Um, we got some pretty cool cards from it. Wasn't build the a, greatest here. Can build a Mew deck. Yeah. yeah. You know? We might do a video with that soon. <laughs> Maybe. But if you liked it, guys, let us know. If you hated it, let us know. If you want to see anything uh, for us to open or anything like that, you got any ideas for the channel, just let us know. We're pretty active in the comments section. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Me and my mate signing off here. Thanks, guys. See you.